Hi everyone, Sarah here. I have a DT project to share with you for the Not Too Shabby Shop on Zibit. Here's the information. I will also have it down in the box down below. Just a quick reminder before I get started that um, our coupon codes for the DT team are still available until tomorrow, November 15th. And my code is Sarah, S-A-R-A-H, and all in caps, sorry. And by using that code, you can receive a 10% discount on your purchase at Not Too Shabby Shop. Okay, there's a lot of very, very cute stamps. <laughs> I'm totally addicted. <laughs> um, uh, what was I going to say? Sorry, check it out. There's a lot of stamps, and there's a lot on sale right now, too. So for my um, DT project, I have um, one of the Magnolia Minis, and it is Cute Sitting Tilda. And... Um, can't really see her. They don't put a stamped image. I think I'm going to stamp her up here so you can see what she looks like, but this is my stamp. And um, the minis are unmounted, so all I do is I use my glue dots and I just put a couple glue dots on there and attach it to my acrylic block. And that way they come off. They The glue dots come off. They're not permanent. And that's it. Okay, so I also have these um, little mini gift card envelopes already cut out. Um, this I made following a tutorial from Bona, who's Live Love Scrap. Uh, she has a tutorial and it's just using the envelope punch board. So really, I just it's an envelope, but you don't close it up. I just use a little piece of Velcro. And then that way you can stick your, you can write a note in here, stick your gift card in here, and then just Velcro it up. So I decorate the front of them. See so, who? This little girl was super cute and super easy to color because she's so tiny. She is very, very hard to fussy cut. There is a lot of little corners and stuff, but I think she turned out pretty cute. Let me get my light in here, see if I can make this any better for you guys. I don't know if that's better, but it's late at night again. Sorry, guys. So I used this ribbon that I picked up at Michael's last year at the end of the season that says do not open till December 25th. Oh, sorry, HomeSense, not Michael's. That was HomeSense. Um, and I just cut up the one length, and I wanted to do the whole thing, so I fishtail a little. But this ribbon does um, fray, so it's a little bit hard to do that. So I glued that down. I used a little MFT doily die in the back. And then this is the Tim Holtz snowflakes that I made last year. I have a, uh, a bucket of them that I made up so I can use them on projects. And then there is... Cute sitting Tilda. She is adorable. I put some stickles on her little lace and her pom-pom on her hat. Um, I do have one little uh, advice. I don't know if everyone thinks it's a great idea, but when you're coloring little tiny images like this, to get the shading and the variation of color, it's a lot easier just to use two Copic markers and make sure they're a bigger difference apart. On this red, I didn't do a big difference apart, um, but on the green, I did. Just because it's a smaller image, you don't have a lot of space to blend around and move the marker around. So it's easier if you use two colors that are uh, further apart, and that'll give you a better shading. So, she's super adorable. I did make a second one. So here's the other one. Um, after fussy cutting her out on this one, I decided to use a punch. So I just used my Stampin' Up! Ticket punch and punched it out. It fit perfectly in there. Um, this is just fussy cut from a different paper. And then these are uh, the little stickers from the dollar store. And then some lace from uh, Joann's. So super cute little gift card holders. Um, check out Bonus Tutorial and give them a try. They're a really good idea for Christmas presents. Um, so that's my project. Yesterday on my day off, I got some more mail. <laughs> my last order from Not Too Shabby. Um, I had uh, stayed up the night of the CC Designs release 
chatting with Melissa waiting for the stamps to be posted on Not Too Shabby and I'm glad I did because they sold out really fast. Definitely recommend if you're something you guys are wanting on a release day, it's a good idea to camp out. And I do believe Jamie, I've heard rumors that she's going to be ordering more of these so um, we'll check and see with Jamie. So this is Snowballed Heidi. She's super adorable. I love her. I can't wait. I haven't not even had a chance to cut these guys out and use them yet, but I'm hoping to do that tomorrow. My absolute favorite is Tawny from Polycraft. So adorable with her little owl. I cannot wait. And then Snowy with his little snowman. Oh, so adorable. Brigitte's Snowheart. Um, if anyone follows the CC Designs blog, they had a card with it done today, and they used the snow text on the uh, on the heart snowball. So cute! Cannot wait. Then I also had to pick up some whimsy stamps. Um, this one is called Sarah. <laughs> I had to get it. It was so cute. Her adorable little teddy bear on the present. I can't wait to use these ones too. And then Lullaby. This one is so sweet. She's holding a little baby chickie in there. And she's on a branch covered in snow. I totally have to do that one tomorrow. And then Moon Goddess. I kind of, I'm not usually, I don't know, I guess I like stamps like this. But this one was a little bit different for me. But I just loved her face and her eyes and the curls in her hair. She's really pretty. A nice big size too. And then I wanted to pick up the retirement sayings from CC Designs. They're actually called Just For You. Um, some of them do have a golf theme to them because uh, CC Designs did release a male golfing stamp to go with these. But um, most of these would still work with other things like just a terrific for you and for your birthday. But you can always not stamp the four. So I have a there's a couple people at my work that are retiring this year. So I need to make some retirement cards. So that is it. Head on over to the Not Too Shabby Shop and check it out. Leave a comment, subscribe if you wish, and have a great day. Thanks. Bye.